Hey guys, welcome back. It is Yes Oh Yes time. I always say, I feel like you can't say Yes Oh Yes normally. Like you have to say Yes Oh Yes. Like, yes. I'm assuming that's what they're going for. Anyways, it's hard for me to just say Yes Oh Yes. Because then it just sounds weird. Let's get into this bag, okay? Alright, so, five de mayo. Which I know it's Cinco de Mayo. I know. Um, and I was actually happy this year. <laughs> I actually got to eat Mexican on Cinco de Mayo. I haven't managed to do it the past few years. And it is always so dead gum hard. I mean, Americans just, I mean, we go eat Mexican all the time. Like, all the time. So we just need one more excuse, I guess, to go eat Mexican. Um, and restaurants are always packed. And I just don't even have time to deal with that. So... Sometimes my Cinco de Mayo is a trip through Taco Bell's drive through But this year I actually got to go enjoy Mexican at a restaurant. Total like rabbit side note there completely. I guess since it's May, that's the theme for this month. And it says, the moment you realize you will never pay full price for makeup, yes. Okay, I think that says that every time. And then it says the monthly savings this time is 79% off retail. This is a pretty hefty bag. It feels pretty full um, and heavy. Also, I don't have any lip product on because I know, you know me. I can't, I can't not look at the sneak peeks and the spoilers. Like, I would drive myself crazy. Between that and BoxyCharm, I have to look. So, I know there's lip products in here. That's why I at least can try that on for you guys in this video. So, let's see if we can find those first. Yes. Yes. This is the Mirabella Lip Definer. That's all it says. I have the color Smart. Alrighty then. Line and define your lips. Or, fill them in for all over color. And I think I'm going to do that because I know the other lip product is a gloss-ish thing, right? I'm pretty sure. So, oh, this is like purple, which if my memory serves me correctly, that'll probably match the palette pretty well. And it's a wooden pencil. Hadn't had one of these in a long time. So let's see how creamy this is. We're gonna just line the lips. It's a basic stiff, every time. It's the basic stiff lip pencil. But, that's usually one that's going to last you a long time on the lips. I feel like that took about 20 years. My, my fault. <laughs> but, it is the kind that, like I said, it's more stiff. It has, um, it doesn't transfer really much at all. And it's got that very dry feel. But, like I said, hopefully that will make it last longer. Um, but I like the color, I don't know why, I got it in my, I know this had several shade options that you could get, but my BoxyCharm I also got a dark color in, which is fine, and this definitely does look purpley berry once you get it all over the lips, but some are not really jiving with that. Let's see if we can find the other lip product and make it brighter, <laughs> because this is, it looks holographic. <laughs> all the little shimmers all right so let's try this on over top it actually like I literally I can't smell anything that's crazy so like the purple it looks like it's got green in there too but the purple shimmers and reflex really pick up I guess cuz the liner underneath so that's kind of cool it's very comfortable not overly sticky I like it and it definitely I feel like when you have such a dark lip giving it some kind of shine or gloss does make it more does make it more wearable um, especially for like a more if you wore this in the day that kind of thing but I like it so that's two products down let's just reach in here now one I know I'm not gonna be a fan of because I told y'all plenty of times <laughs> Me and sheet masks do not get along. This one looks very adorable though. It's called Detox Diva. Exfoliate and Detoxify. Green Tea Lemon Cactus Hydrating Sheet Mask. So it's really cute. 
this might be going in the giveaway. Also, guys, I did it. We hit over 300, and actually it's a little bit more than that now. Um, so it just kind of happened pretty quick. Like I was stagnant for a while, then all of a sudden I wasn't. So that's exciting. So guess what that means? That means we'll be doing a giveaway video this month. Yeah, this month. So I will talk about what's going in the giveaway, all the rules and that kind of stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. This next product is called Loritzi Cosmetics. Never heard of it. It is called a Dupot Illuminateur and Pot. That makes it sound fancy. Um, I got the shade Halo and it is a cream highlighter. So I've literally never seen a product like this. And I saw on Yes Oh Yes their Instagram that a lot of people would ask when they post pictures of this, they would ask what it is because I think it's a relatively, not maybe not new, but it's not something you see all the time. Okay, so Halo seems to be a super light, light champagne color, which is great because uh, light over here. So we're just going to swatch it. Ooh, it's real creamy. It does come off more gold, and it's pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's real pretty, but it's not... Okay, my thing is... I'm hoping it's showing up. It's real pretty. How many times am I going to say that? I'm going to have to do some research and see how this is best used. Because my concern is... It feels really heavy. And thick and creamy. Which can be fine. But I feel like once you shear it out... You won't really see it it doesn't it's not overly shiny it's not overly reflective so I'm not honestly sure what the best use for this is if it maybe dries down as like an eyeshadow base I don't know but looking at it on my hand there's not much glow going on so I'm kind of confused we'll look into this okay so last item is another palette which is awesome and it's beauty creations and we've gotten I think I've already gotten two things by them um, since I've started getting Yes and Yes, and this is my fifth one. And there's all the shades. I do like Beauty Creations because it is cruelty free, so that's good. This is called the Seduce Me palette, and I think it's got like purpley tones. Y'all, I can't get this out of the thing. Why this is this always a problem for me? Okay, how do I get it out of the carton? Like, do I just rip the carton? Am I that special? Okay. carton is broken because I literally could not get it out. All right, so here is the palette, and it is, it's got the cover, and it is completely intact, so that's awesome. So yeah, it is super purpley, and it's got some neutrals and bronzes. Bronzes? <laughs> I don't think that works, does it? Bronzy shades. It does have a mirror. Kind of small, but honestly, how big of a mirror do you really need? So, as per usual, we're going to count how many... we got tons of shimmers in here. Let's see how many shimmers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 shimmers. And they do look to be like different types of consistency. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 mattes. Now, what I can say, this explicit is a really pretty navy. If it comes off pretty and it actually shows up in pigmented, that's awesome because it's hard to get a good navy and it's hard to make the pigment and richness of the color come through without losing like the quality of the shadow. So we're just going to swatch some. I'm going to do a set of mattes and a set of shimmers. These mattes are definitely impressing me. This is the navy, so it did come off pretty, pretty pigmented. It's still that dark color, but it's still rich, and you can tell it's a navy blue. It doesn't get gray. Now, of course, on the eyes, you have no idea how it's going to play out, but all of these swatch really well, so I'm kind of impressed. Now, I have a feeling this is going to stain the, you know what, out of my hand. And it does. So we'll just swatch on the other hand for the shimmers because that is not coming off. There's like this really cool toned silver in here. It's like super icy. So we're going to swatch that and see how that looks. This is probably the most impressive palette so far that I have seen from this brand. 
And like I said, up by now I've gotten a few things from them, so I am not mad at it. So if I was a company doing a quality control check and I just swatched 8 out of 18 shadows and they all swatched pretty darn well, then I would say that this is a good palette. I'm not a company. I'm not that special. I don't know why I came up with that analogy, but I did. But look at this, y'all. This is that Icy Shimmer. And this is a pretty bronze color. That gold is insane. And this one I'm really excited about. I think this one's going to be really pretty on the lids. And they do have a black. Let's just swatch the black to see if it can stand up to the blue because it looks completely matte. Okay, so that's the black. Not like the deepest, darkest black, but there's enough pigment there and you could definitely build it up. And it's a good color black, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think this palette is a pretty good home run. I'm actually really excited to play with this palette now. Um, I had no idea what to expect, and honestly, I can't really remember the other beauty creations. I know I have gotten them, but I don't remember feeling this way upon initial swatch of the other palettes. So, I don't know if formulas have changed, or if I've gotten duds in the past. I wouldn't call them duds, but y'all look at that. It's from the blue. But this is good. I'm excited. So, I don't know... So I don't know if it's just my birthday month or what, but my BoxyCharm was great this month and this Yes Oh Yes bag was great this month. So this is my fifth bag and honestly, it's, it's one of the best. The only, only, only thing I'm not sure about is this thing and just because I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to do some research. If you want to use it just like a highlight, if that's the intent, I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see. Um, so we'll have to play with this and see. Everything else, though, is a home run. Well, okay, <laughs> except for the sheet mask. But, you know, that's just me. That's not anything wrong with this product. That's just me. But the other three products, I'm super excited about, especially that palette. If it performs on the eyes like it swatches, I am excited. Well, this has been a very successful subscription month and my birthday month and giveaway month. So... Yay to that. I am so excited. I am excited to play with these shadows and I want to put this lip gloss over more of a nude lip as well and see how that works. And then I do, I do actually like this pencil color. The only thing is, like I said, it's just a little bit dark for this time of year. So we'll maybe hold off and save it for later. Also, just thought about that. I could do a line of this and make it more nude with a lighter color in the center. That might be something to look into as well and play with. But I think it does pair nicely with the eyeshadow palette, so that was good. But yeah, guys, that wraps up this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I do this and my BoxyCharm unboxing and all kinds of other videos. So hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I post them. And I hope you have a good night, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. It's that basic stiff wooden pencil, but I don't even care about sports. Holy cow. Cat hair. Even when they're not in here, they're bother bothering me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Why can I not get this out? Tell me I'm going to have another packaging problem. Let's go up this side this time. Is this my good side? I don't know. Do I have a good side? I don't know.